In this video, I'll show you how I created a cabin in Blender using Archipack Pro and how I imported it into an Unreal Engine environment, adding materials and basic blueprints. Check out the previous video where I created the environment in Unreal Engine, link in description. Thanks for all your subs and likes, and let's get started! I began by making a plane and dividing it to create a basic floor plan with a position of walls and columns. This will also help with adding different finishes to the same wall. I duplicated and separated the column surfaces, extruding them to make columns. Next, I duplicated the plane, converted it to a curve, and raised everything 50 cm to add a base of support. Using Archipack Pro, I created the external walls from the plane curve, then trace internal walls. I created the ceiling from the walls perimeter and added a window. I modified the window's properties and saved it to the Archipack library for later use. I then added other windows of the new type. I repeated the process with a different type of window. I then added two different types of doors for internal and external walls. I added two finishes to the external walls, wood cladding and metal. The walls are divided into sections because I subdivided the plane before creating the walls, so I could assign different finishes to each section. I deleted the external columns as they were just a reference for placing the windows and I continued assigning the finishes to the external walls. I assigned materials to windows, doors and columns removing any unused materials. They are temporary diffuse materials and I added the final ones in a real engine.
Next, I duplicated the base of support and deleted the side and bottom surfaces. I then turned the upper surface into a curve and created a floor and a slab from it. I assigned a wooden material to the blinds, duplicated the base to make the roof and assigned a metal material. I modified the roof shape using the shortcuts Ctrl A to apply rotation and scale, Tab to enter edit mode, I to insert, E to extrude and Ctrl plus to expand the selection from the central surface. I then added a grass material for a roof garden. I selected the curve of the floor, scaled it down with S key, converted it into a mesh, filled it with F key, subdivided it with Ctrl R, reconverted it into a curve, deleted two segments in front of the external doors, and created a fence from the curve. I then adjusted the fence's properties and materials. I wasn't satisfied with the roof, so I modified its shape using the shortcut Ctrl R to edge loop and Ctrl plus to expand the selection. I then added some details and a bevel modifier. For barrier-free access, I added two ramps instead of stairs. Next, I renamed and added every layer to a collection, merging objects of the same category, like the windows, and adjusting materials. I applied all the transformations with Ctrl A and also all the modifiers. I UV unwrapped every mesh by replacing the materials with a UV grid material, doing a UV cube projection and adjusting the scale before switching back to the original materials.
Next, I created custom collisions for a real engine. To do this correctly, I followed three basic rules. The volumes must be convex and without holes. There should be a gap between shapes and the name of each volume must be in the format UCX underscore original object name underscore sequence number. For example, UCX underscore fans underscore zero one, since multiple volumes can be used for the same object. I then selected all objects and collisions and exported them as FBX. I wanted to create blueprints in Unreal to open the doors, so I moved one external and one internal door to the center of the axis to export them. I created a new third-person project at an empty open world level. I added standard lighting and landscape, the FBX of the cabin and the doors. I then moved all meshes and materials to a new folder. I changed the move value to 100 and added all meshes to the scene. The pivot point of each mesh should be at the center. I pinned all layers to prevent things from disappearing when restarting the project. I removed the automatic collision from windows and door frames and created a new blueprint actor for the external doors. I wanted them to open and close automatically. I inserted the door mesh and a box collision into the blueprint. To make the door open when the character is close to it, I added a Begin Overlap event to the box, connected it to Cast to Third Person Character, added a Timeline, opened it with double click, created a Float Track, shift click on the timeline and changed the value to 0, then shift click again and changed it to 1, compiled I returned to the event graph where I added the door mesh and connected it to set relative rotation. Right click split, I then added a multiply between timeline and rotation Z with a value of 90 because I wanted the door to open 90 degrees. I also wanted the door to close automatically. 
so I added an end overlap event to the box, another cast to third person character node, connected it to the timeline, compiled and saved. I placed the door blueprint to try it. I had to scale up the box collision, invert the rotation by changing the multiply node value to minus 90. I then created two more blueprints for the internal doors. Next, I downloaded some materials and grass from Quixel Bridge and tried them on the cabin. The wood of the cladding had the wrong rotation, so I duplicated the master material, added a custom rotator node, a texture coordinate node, a constant to vector with values of 0.5 for both x and y, and a constant parameter node with a value of 0.25. I then applied the new master material to the wood material. I also added a multiply and a constant parameter nodes to control tiling scale. I tried another wood material for the cladding, used the first one for the floor, and adjusted tiling and textures. I downloaded a glass material from Epic Games and assigned it to the windows and the fences. After making further adjustments, I applied a soil material to the roof and the wood material to the blinds, and added some grass in foliage mode. I then applied a plaster material from Quixel Bridge to the interior walls. Once I was satisfied with the materials, I signed them to each individual mesh. I created a blueprint actor to combine all the cabin meshes and all blueprints into one, allowing me to import the complete cabin into the environment I created in the previous video.
migrated all the meshes and blueprints into the environment file. I placed the cabin blueprint in the desired location. I then sculpted the terrain and painted some grass around the cabin. I deleted the ramps and raised the ground because I didn't like them. I made changes to the lighting and downloaded some grass from Quixel Bridge. I couldn't add the grass to the roof, so I removed it from the cabin blueprint and added the mesh instead. I then used the same ground grass for the roof garden. I adjusted the camera position, changed the glass material to one from the starter content and made further adjustments to lighting and materials. I took a high resolution screenshot of the final result. Check out my previous video to see how I created the cabin environment. Let me know in the comments if you know a better way to make anything or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!